Okay, I'll be going over the one server task. Uh, you've got two cells, different shapes, um, different structure, and then you're trying to find which cell has the biggest area. Okay, so we will keep working on the cell one first. Okay, so we're going to be working on cell one. The cell one, if we divide it, we will have three different uh, graphs. So the first one is the triangle with three sides being given. And the second one is the segment where you've been giving the radius and the chord. And then the third one is the another segment with a radius of 10 meter. Okay, we'll be working on area one. Uh, for area one, we we have a triangle. We've got three sides of triangle, so we need an angle to be able to use the rule for uh, finding an area of a non-right angle triangle. So we need the angle, and the angle that I will um, find using a cosine rule. So this is the angle that I'm trying to calculate, and this is the how would I apply the cosine rule. We need to remember that you need to set your calculators into a degree mode to use this one here. And that's the answer. Okay, now we're trying to find the area of a triangle. Um, now the rule for the area of the triangle is half times BC times sine A. So this is the formula, the session. 1.6 times 4 times sine 56.85 and the answer is 2 meter square okay so that's the second area so we'll take the uh, sector with a radius of 15 so we need the center area and what do I, uh, angle what do I mean by the center angle so we've got this um, this is a sector we've got the three sides of the triangle we need that angle theta so I'm going to use cosine inverse and that's give me the degrees now to be able to use the area of a sector I must convert this one here into radians and remember we said to convert into radians we multiply by pi and divide by 180 and that will give me 0 0.26 sorry 27 if I want to end it properly and now if I find the area of the sec of the segment equal half radius square times 0 0.27 minus sine 0 0.27 and the answer for that is 29.85 And by doing exactly the same for area 3. So I'm just going to um, calculate the side first, so the, um, the angles first, which is 10 square plus 10 square minus 1.6 square over 2 times 10 times another 10. Okay, before I take to area 3, so um, just to let you know that actually I've made a mistake in here because I haven't changed my um, mode back into radians when I apply the area of a segment. So the area here has given me an incorrect. So if I've changed it to radians mode, this is the area of the sector meter square. Okay, now we will work on the area for the third one which is exactly the same as the previous so um, so you will get the cosine inverse for 10 square plus 10 square minus 1.6 square divide by 
2 times 100 is 10 times 10 and that's will and that will give me 0 0.16 radians so I've just found that if you keep your graphic calculator under the radians mods and you apply the cosine rule, the angles will be given to you straight away in radians. So now I can find the area of the segment straight away. Two, sorry, half times 100 because it's the radius square, then 0 0.16 minus sine 0 0.16. And the answer for that is 0 0.03. And now finding the area of the whole shape. Area of cell 1 equals 0 0.03 plus 0 0.367 plus 2. And that final answer is... Two point six meter square, and the second shape will be exactly the same, is just um, different sections. Thank you for listening.